what is up, my Knights of the Round Table? Welcome back to Music Night with the Knight. We got Sayori versus Sayaka Miki by Sir Rat Battles. The people that did Princess Leia versus, um, shit. <laughs> I should have looked. I should have looked at her name. But I did a reaction to the battle, and I really like Sir Rat Battles so much, and I'm really excited to be back to reacting to him again. This is requested by Fevers. Wait, I'm saying that right? Or, uh, yeah, it looks like Fevers to me. I could be wrong. Let me the first time. Please let me know if I'm saying it right. Battles! I have no idea who these two are. Okay, no, it's Doki Doki. Okay, I actually know who that is. That is actually clever. in the corner. I missed it, but my ring lights, there's Markiplier. There's my boy Mark. Monica? Not Monica. No, it's so bad when she appears. She does. No, I knew it. No, 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 hi, Ann. I, I need a minute, I need a, I need a minute. Bro, you didn't have to do Sayori like that. She didn't have to do her like that. And why Monica tag teaming? I knew when Monica came in and I knew some shit was about to go down. Monica, you are a bad tiding. Make sure she ain't coming from my ass. Oh, joke's on her. I'll just turn off the PC. <laughs> shit, that's my phone. A bubbly buddy a trope. Tomboy likes, uh, can't, they, she's marked it out, my friends in music. She likes somebody. <laughs> Sayori from Ducky Ducky Literature Club. The, the reason I know who, the, who, who she is is because I actually watched Markiplier play the game. <laughs> they showed Markiplier. That's oh, ironic. Uh, bundle of sunshine trope. Daydreamer likes writing poetry snacks, helping others. I want breakfast. She's late. She's late a lot. She's late. That's all I want to say. I'd show you around these parts, but even you lost me. She, even she's lost. <laughs> You 
fell in with you fell in love with a violin boy, and all you can do is play with your heartstrings. Heartstrings are in violin. You, yeah, heartstrings as in your heart. You, you get it? That's actually very intelligent. Very intelligent bar. As a magical girl, you're incompetent. Okay. Would have died twice if Akimi. So it's like okay, it's like another Hermione situation. You know, yeah, yeah, somebody always needs a sidekick to save them. Sometimes the sidekick is better than the hero. I don't know. I don't know if uh, Sayaka is the hero of the story. I don't know about her. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I, I don't know. Is she the hero of the story? If not, I'm very sorry. Because I don't know much about her. I know. I know about Sayori. Dropping, uh, stopping fights. Okay, my ring light is blocking. I need to twist this damn thing. There we go. There we go. Now we're cooking. Stopping fights. You're only known for causing them. Stopping fights. You're only known for causing them. You cause problems, man. I better call your anime a cake. The way that I'm topping it. You top a cake. Call your anime a cake the way I'm topping it. My game tops your anime. The MVP of DDLC, the MVP of Doki Doki Literature Club. Fucking Monica. Fucking Monica is just waiting. She's waiting. She's waiting. That is the eyes of betrayal. Look at Monica, that is the eyes of betrayal. I remember watching Mark play this and I was like with him. I, I was like, when when the shit was going down, I was like, I was like, I had the same reaction. I was like, what the fuck is happening? Sorry, that's something you don't need to know. You probably don't care either. If you're stuck on writing a good verse, just tell me. She's in a poetry club. She knows about writing. Or a literature club, actually. Fuck, not a poetry club. But she likes poetry. My bad. I got mixed up. I do not want this rap to be a tragedy like the broken world you call your reality. That's fucked up. Yeah. Like, that's some low-key salt. That's low-key slowing some salt in the wound. For a girl with such an appetite, you got no taste in men. I don't remember the character being that big of an asshole in the game, but I get, you control his options, so I guess. You'd rather romance lonely nerds than try to hang out with your friends. I mean, there's three of them. And even then, she didn't succeed because somebody... <laughs> mm, fucked it up. Your plushies, your plushies are more lively than you sleeping in your sheets. I don't know. I don't know how to take that one. I don't know how to explain that one. Because there, there's some shit that went down with Sayori. I'm not touching that with a 10 foot pole because that's just. Mm, 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 mm. Shame. It's a shame you got no love to come out and play. Well, Sayori, for lack of a better term, has depression. It's, it's revealed in the game she has depression. Even I couldn't wish away your rainy day. She's not, you know, because she's magic. Even I can't wish away your depression. He raced by the president. Her acts as a president. Oh my God, president, president! I like that. I mean, Monica did do that. Moved by so much YouTubers call your game, Mr. Cow. Why you gotta throw out Mark like that? Mark only played it once, I remember. Why you gotta do? Why you gotta do Mark like that? And of course, Mr. Cow. After a year, interest in your story fell through. Like players opened the door and just walked out of the room. So fucked up, bro. So fucked up. Okay, so she's gonna get poetic on her. Turned down, turned down, and planted you in your own heart. A grief seed that would grow into your own enemy. Okay, she's getting poetic on her. Gonna break her down. You see Mr. Cow in the background. Man, you reap what you sow when there's a gardening bar. Pop up like a jar lid. I'm speaking my prose. Okay, am I speaking my prose? When I'm speaking my prose, I'm popping up like a jar lid. Okay, she's popping off in these bars. I'm feeling you, Sayori. I'm feeling you. You need swords with that. Wait, what? Grow into your own enemy. 
I'm, I'm so busy cut up on the jar bar that... The jar lid went to sneak in my brain. Like, that was very clever. You, who needs swords with that edge? <laughs> you're wrenching the sword, okay. Oh, so you swords with that edge, you're so bleak in... You're so bleak in your own show. You're so bleak in your show. Your show departed from the mortal plane after hunting them witches for just a few days. Well, several are away, because you couldn't get rich from the scale like your soul... You see, uh, okay, that's who she crossed out. Your like your soul gem, your hopes thrown away. Oh god. The soul gem! The one of six infinity stones. I'm just kidding. You couldn't get the heart of the MC, so it makes you think you're an MC. You couldn't get the heart of an MC, so it makes you think you're an MC. So it makes you think that you're an MC. I mean, say where you couldn't get the heart of an MC. It's very, very true. How have you found the lead she did have her file deleted out of jealousy. I feel like this is where she goes in on Sayori. Which led to her lacking any sort of self-esteem. Why, why you gotta pick on her like that, bro? <laughs> she has depression. Has she not suffered enough? Has, has that whole club not suffered enough? What happened? Okay, Dan's project shut down. What happened there? I don't. I don't know that. I don't know that. I like how she's concerned for her. Are you okay? All she needs is a little rest. Who's that? Oh, don't worry about me, dear. It's always. Everything is fine. This battle needs a spice. Let's just see how you make things amplify. So she's amplifying the emotions like she did in the game. My whole life is worthless. My whole life is worthless. I don't deserve fighting against a poor girl. She's, she's amplifying her depression. It's so fucked up. Monica's such a dick. Sacrificing herself. sacrificing herself for the one that she loves. The one that she loves who, was who was dating her best friend instead. Damn, bro. <laughs> Damn. That's a, even though she kind of laying down on her, she's kind of, you know, beating herself up. She kind of throwing shade at you at the same time. Her sanity's fragile like a character file. Unlike the last, unlike the last Sayaka, you're not dodging this yeah, trial. Now I finally know what your crush has gone through, because you've tortured me with songs that you spewed. Damn, this ain't your music shit, bro. Oh god, this is where she just, this is where where the battle just goes to shit. Like this is where everybody just starts going low blows, and I love it. If you guys know me, I love battles with low blows. There's no softies in rap battles. There's no softies. You, you gotta stain somebody's jacket. You gotta insult them. You gotta hit them where it hurts. But this is where it starts happening. When I say this is where the battle goes to shit, I mean this is where shit goes down. This is right here. When Monica amplifies it, this is where they just become vile. Talk so much about what? Talk, talk so much about chest. You should be. You should get suspended. And this with a snap like Natsuki's neck did. She died from a neck snap. Yeah, let's see. I think she died from a neck. No, she did not. No, I don't think so. You put your feelings in a bottle, then you broke it. Hmm? This zero thought she won, but it wasn't in the coding. Yeah, I mean, Monica controls the coding. It wasn't in the coding. Her fate was pre It was. She's a video game character. Your fate is predetermined when you're a video game character. Do I even have to explain that? You just saw what she meant. She... Let's just say she hung loose. Joker ass laugh. Isaiah! Jesse Box is always Monica. Every time I see Monica, it's always Jesse. Is Jesse just like the go to Monica? If so, I can kind of see it. But at the same time, it's just, it's, it's always Jesse. It's always her. Jesse has a contract that it's like she's legally obliged to just be in a rap battle that features Monica. Garbage Gothic as Sayaka. Garbage Gothic, I've seen a lot of stuff too. Because they're very talented people. All of them, everybody in here is very talented. Triple Saber, very talented again. Uh, Chandler, E Man, Meta Machine, Grenade, uh, JK03, 
and Raccoon Bro via uh, Ryan. I always want to call him Ryan. I don't know why. I'm sorry. Robbie, Cameron the Person, Ryan. Special Inquisitor. Zodiac, Kieran. Creeper Pasta. <laughs> I get the joke. Anyway, well. I, I gotta give it to Sayaka. I think at the end that last bar was so mean. That was like that was that was a low blow from hell. Like that was a that was a low blow. So I gotta get to, I gotta get to Sayaka. I gotta give it to her. I gotta get to Sayaka. I think she got it. I think she took it. Sorry, Sayori, you lost. I'm sorry. You gotta, you gotta hold that L. So, guys, I gotta give this a ten out of ten. Twelve out of ten. This is a great battle. Especially picks up at the end, like they just really just start. They just they just quit with the kid gloves. They just start throwing haymakers. They just do not leave any stone unturned. They just go for each other's throats in their last verses, and I love it. I love it so much. So I'm giving this a 12 out of 10. Thank you all so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this as much as I did. And as always, I'll see you.